You know, I've had people on both sides, Peter, some that say, well, the, the Mark Andreessen viewpoint that, <clears throat> look, people always worry that technology replaces jobs and then it creates the jobs. And then I've had people on the other side that say, look, this is completely different. And you know, Goldman Sachs came out recently and said 300 million jobs are in jeopardy because of AI. You know, where do you stand? Because yeah, there's a lot of anxiety in the, pu in the public. And when I first went down this route, I went to some dark places as well. I have two young boys, they're six and seven years old, and I'm thinking about their teenage years, Peter, and I'm thinking they will have teenage years ex ex never experienced in 200,000 years of human history. Theirs will be so different yeah. than anything else. And so I obviously am emotionally involved, but what do you say about those, those two sides that one say it will help us and one say it will replace us? So let's drill down. I'm a dad of two 12 year old boys, fraternal twins. Um, and I think about the same thing. I'm clear that their middle school and high school will not prepare them for the road ahead. And that school needs to be reinvented. So I've been spending a lot of time. I put out a, I put out two blogs a week um, at diamandis.com. And I just wrote one on the future of reinventing high school. I'll probably have to do one on, on the future of reinventing college if college Sure, we're going to be changing that significantly. Um, there are utopian and dystopian. Both are true. They're not exclusive from each other. Uh, and let me let me break that down. First of all, uh, do I believe we're going to have issues? Yes. Uh, do I believe that the world is going to be extraordinary in the next 20, 30, 40 years? Yes. So how do I hold those two resonant in my mind? I, I do it by looking back at the last century. I think very few people would argue that between 1900 and 2023, that the world's gotten extraordinarily better, right? Uh, from a from a uh, uh, living standards standpoint. But even if you believe that during the past 123 years, there, I actually looked at this for my new book. I'm writing the next iteration of my first book, Abundance. Um, over the last 123 years, there have been 268 million deaths due to war and pestilence and famine, right? So we've had this incredible period of hardship, but yet still the world has gotten better at an extraordinary rate over the last 123 years. So are we going to have ups and downs? Are we going to have issues? Yes. Will the world get extraordinarily better in the process? Yes. So let's break AI down into three categories. So AI today, uh, I would say, is incredible. It's the equivalent to that uh, newborn child that you're cuddling and holding, and it's all love. And you know, if it's not screaming in the middle of the night, it's it's you know, it's it's cuddly and, and fun. And we can use ChatGPT, and we can use stability and stable diffusion, all those things, to have fun with them. And they're causing more upside than disruption. So that's phase one, um, and I think. If we were to stop development of AI today, it would be incredibly useful for the world. Still, one of the most useful tools ever. But then we're gonna enter phase two and phase three. Uh, phase two is the next one to 10 years. And this is the phase during which AI starts to become disruptive. What do I mean by that? Well, we have the US elections coming up and there's no question um, that in the US elections, we're gonna start to see generative AI in the form of deep fakes and disruptions causing turmoil. Uh, we're going to see loss of jobs. Uh, I think the loss of jobs issue isn't going to be as big as people uh, think. It's going to be definitely punctuating certain careers and jobs. I think we're going to have AI co-pilots uh, as a physician. You're not going to be diagnosing on your own. It's going to become malpractice to diagnose without having AI in the loop. And there's definitive good reasons for that. As a CEO, as a politician, as a lawyer, as an artist, as a writer, you're going to have your AI co-pilot supporting you. And we have that already to some degree. Um, and they're going to be those jobs completely replaced by AI, but there will be upskilling opportunities. Uh, and so I think the job market will take care of itself. I think we're going to have universal, universal basic income right? Uh, UBI, where we tax robots, we tax the AIs that are displacing jobs, and we distribute that capital to individuals, and we allow those individuals to upskill themselves, educate themselves uh, in, in, uh, with that capital. Uh, there will be terrorism. Um, we will see the first Wall Street 
servers hacked by AIs or the first power plants, and there will be concern that comes from that. So Jim Rickards has just recorded a video that's not available to anyone in the public, and he's gonna be talking about how this upcoming recession is gonna be fast, it's gonna be bloody, it's gonna be nasty. But at the same time, he's gonna show you how you can position yourself to profit from all of this chaos. Now we've made this video only available to our viewers. Go to LondonReal.tv forward slash Jim, watch that immediately. I can't say enough good things about Jim Rickards. He understands the global economic system better than any guest I've ever had on London Real. His predictions are almost uncannily true and you can learn how to profit from his vision, from his expertise, and his understanding of economics. So go to LondonReal.tv forward slash Jim or click the link below. It's an excellent, excellent look on what's gonna happen in the future and how you can position yourself to profit from that. Jim is one of the best in the business, one of my favorite guests on London Real, and he's very, very good at predicting the future and showing us all to profit from it. So click the link and I hope you enjoy. Hey, it's Brian Rose, founder of the DeFi Academy. I've told you my four-week crypto bootcamp is amazing, but don't take my word for it. This is what my students are saying. The DeFi Academy was an amazing experience for me. It took me totally out of my comfort zone. In this course, I was challenged. I was held accountable and pushed to do things that honestly weren't always easy. It's been phenomenal, and I can't believe uh, we're already up on our four weeks. It has flown by. Going through this DeFi accelerator, by far, was one of the best courses I've taken. You do this course, you really get into the nitty gritty of the activities that will make you comfortable with decentralized finance. Thank you so much to Brian and everyone at London Real and the DeFi Academy for even putting together an amazing course like this. Anybody else that wants to do it, please sign up. It is well worth the money.